Hey, it's the Food Fixer. Today we're going to make something that's really simple and surprisingly it's something a lot of people think they can only get in a restaurant. Probably because they think it takes a lot of time or it takes an industrial smoker, but it really doesn't. Crock pot and some seasonings will get it done. Today we're going to make pulled pork and it's something that can feed the whole family or if you are single, it's something that you can eat on for the week or freeze and put away for later. So it's one of those things that I like to make just to have some options for the week. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. For instance, obviously you can make a pulled pork sandwich, have some baked beans and coleslaw with it. Uh, you can make a baked potato, load it up, put the pulled pork and some sauce on top. It's fantastic. So let's just dive in. You're gonna need a crock pot. If you don't have one yet, I strongly urge you to get one. They're 20, 25, 30 bucks if you go all out. There are so many quick, easy meals that you can make in a crock pot that every kitchen needs to have one. There is a link in the description below where you can purchase my recommendation for a crock pot. So pulled pork starts with a pork loin, something you can get in any grocery store in the meat department. This one happens to be hickory smoke flavored. It's already seasoned, it has sauce in it. We're halfway there already. Now the really neat thing about this, all you have to do is turn your crock pot on low, take the pork loin, we're just going to drop it in the crock pot, put some sauces on there, and I just like to give it a little bit extra flavor. I'm gonna put some liquid smoke. If you wanna go even further, I like this barbecue seasoning right here by McCormick. I use it when I grill and things like that. Just gonna put a little bit on there. We're gonna turn it on low, put the lid on, and here's the cool thing. You're done for now. You can put it on when you make your coffee in the morning, go to work, leave it there for eight or 10 hours. When you come home, it takes another five minutes and we'll be ready to go. So I'll see you in about eight hours. All right, I'm back. It's been about nine hours and I think our pork loin's ready to go. So I'm just gonna be very careful here. And what we wanna do is take it out of the crock pot and you can do this either on a cutting board or in a bowl or maybe sometimes both but this is the pulled of pulled pork part so what I like to do is just take two forks and you're just going to kind of shred the meat and you'll see that it kind of has a a grain to it and you just want to do this and you are pulling the pork apart <clears throat> if you want to do it in a bowl it's kind of it saves a little bit of dishes and maybe one step but uh, this just makes it easier for the camera i think All right, so I think you get the idea. What I'm gonna do now is just put this pork in a bowl. And then all that's left at this point, and this is a decision I'll have to make, is whether to leave it as is or to go ahead and add your sauce. For me, I like to do a little of both. So if I was gonna make a pulled pork sandwich, I would go ahead and put a little bit of sauce in it just to help it maintain the moisture. You don't want it to dry out. And of course I'm gonna taste it, so I want it to taste good as is. So I'm just gonna add some sauce and stir and just do this to your liking. Yes, I'm messy. And then remember, you can always add more sauce, so you don't want to overdo it. Okay. 
That's it. I think we're ready to make a sandwich. Of course, I got some buns. Let's talk about barbecue sauce. Personally, Sweet Baby Ray's is where it's at for me. I know everybody has their favorite. Can't go wrong. Do what you like. Well, with that, you put a little homemade coleslaw here, which I will have a video to show you this coleslaw. It's the bomb. People that don't like coleslaw like this coleslaw. Mm. Maybe a pickle with that. And there we go. Crock pot pulled pork.